And for you coaches, I really want you to pay attention to this, and you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about once I, once I get to it. One more crucial thing, guys. It's this right here. It's my trail leg. My left foot, guys, my left leg plays a huge role in here. You guys got all the five steps out. But then we got to incorporate one more thing. And if you don't incorporate this, guys, you're in big trouble. Here's my trail leg. I hit my right knee. This is my trail leg. You with me? You watch my trail foot. When I go to hit this shot, my foot's going to go from here to there. Trail foot's going to go from here to there. Guys, I'm moving my trail foot seven feet, eight feet, six feet. Here's what I see so many high school kids do. I see so many college kids do this. Here's Piggy's trail foot. When he goes to hit the shot, he's gonna move his trail foot that far. Watch, see it all the time. He goes to hit a head inside single, he moves his trail foot. All right, trail foot starting right here. And he moves it to right there. You yeah, guys with me? And he pauses for just a brief second. I had a coach ask me the very first week of my camp. I've had him ask me last year. Coach, why does the guy pause? We always tell him not to pause. I said, I think this guy's pausing to see what I'm going to do. <clears throat> to figure out, does he do option one? Does he have to do option two or do option three? Well, that little bitty pause, even if he doesn't pause, I'm going to beat him. Why? I'm just going to break his stance. Just what we did the other day, basic baseline defense. Head down, step in, feed back. Can you move, Piggy? No. Cannot move. He's carrying all my weight. Now, guys, watch what's going to happen. Piggy knows I'm going to sprawl. He doesn't want to carry my weight. So when he hits the shot, he does this. When he hits the shot, he goes this way. When I sprawl, he doesn't have to carry my weight. He's, watch his trail foot. I'm going to sprawl, and I'm going to put my hand right where this foot starts. Look how far he moves his foot. This is crucial. Here. Right here is where his foot starts from. Here. It's all the way back there. Guys, he moved it seven or eight feet. Also. By moving his foot six to eight feet, he did a bunch of things at once when he moved that foot. By him moving his foot all the way to here, look what else he did. He went elbow deep, he pulled in and down, he's on his right elbow, got a hand curl, right hip, lower than left. Hey guys, when you do this right, you never hit your left elbow, you never hit your left knee, you never hit that trail leg knee. If ever he hits that trail leg knee, I can beat him. There he steps over and chases him. We want <coughs> Pummel hit shot, stop. Stop. Right here's where Pummel's foot started from. Got to keep him 15 feet by the time he come all the way around here. Look where Pummel's at. Hand curl, right hip, low to the left, never hit the knee, never hit the elbow. Got everything right. Elbows down, step over. Chase him. one more piece. Hit the shot, stop. Cannot stress this enough. Nice. Perfect. Step over. Change. Slow. Start out slow. Hey guys, every day in my high school room, when guys get warmed up, when I say the word start taking them down, we drill for 10 or 15 minutes until the sweat's dripping off of us. I bet my guys hit 50 or 60, head inside, chase the ankle. Then I give them a break, they go get something to drink, they go to the bathroom, then for the next 45 minutes to an hour, we do this. We go hard, we go live. Then, I make my guys jump in a big ice bath. Why? To keep them healthy so we can keep doing this. Then they shower, then they go home, get something to eat, and I meet them that night at seven o'clock at the wrestling room. That night at seven o'clock, guys, we drill for an hour. During that hour, start picking up the pace. During that hour, I bet we hit 150 of these. So that means we hit, on average, every day, during the season, 200 of these shots and finishes. Somebody says, why the freak would you want to do 200 of those every day? Real simple, guys. It's a Wednesday time. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are they ever stopping? No. Did they ever hit the trail leg knee? No. They hit thousands of these shots and finishes. Come on. Come on. You guys look like you're drilling at St. Ed's. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Crank them up. Crank them up. Crank them up. Crank them up. Good stuff. Nice. Good. 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 30 seconds left in the match. Piggy's down by a point. They're on their feet. He goes down, down. She looks at me and goes, Piggy, hit it now. This is the shot I'm talking about. One more each. Go, 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 go. Good. One more. They never hit their trail leg knee ever. Good. Guys, did they ever stop? Did they ever hit their trail leg knee? Did they do a good setup before the shot? 
Good setup creates the best shot in turn, creates the easiest finish. That right there, guys, coaches, I'm being honest, it's gonna take your team to promised land. I really truly believe so. Why? I think it's the best shot there is in wrestling, without question. My son, Bo, took his guy down every year, every year in the state finals, took him down the head inside sink. My son, Mickey, that's the only shot he had in high school, the head inside sink. Let's go, let's try it. Start out.